Hi, today I'm going to explain a sci-fi horror film called, The Human Centipede. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with Professor Joseph Hader, who is sitting in his car and is looking at a picture. In that picture, three dogs stand in such a way that, one is behind the other and the third is standing behind them. Suddenly, a truck comes to a stop and the truck driver is going towards the forest for the toilet, Professor Joseph targets him and shoots his gun. We then see two girls, one of them is named Jenny and the other is Lindsay. They are originally both from the US but have come to Germany for an outing. They had gone to the club to celebrate the party and Lindsay was talking on the phone about the party location. Although they are both used to traveling, they had no specific idea about Germany. That night, they take a rented car, and travel to the location of the party. The party's location was not known to them. They lose their way passing through the forest and get stuck when Jenny takes a U-turn of the vehicle and their car's tire gets punctured. They try to call a car repair service, but there is no signal on their mobile phone because they are in the middle of nowhere and now they are stuck, there are no people around them except in the side of the forest. They both decide to remain in the vehicle and wait for someone to pass from this road. Then a car passes by and they both try to take help from him. An old man in this car sees that they are alone and he tries to harass them verbally. They are scared too much and lock the car from inside, the car goes from there. It is late and they both walk towards the forest. They then find a home where they can call for help. They see a light coming from a house and walk towards it. Then suddenly, it starts to rain heavily. They both get very wet when they reach this house. They knock on the door and Professor Joseph comes out. Jenny and Lindsay tell him that they need help and ask Professor Joseph to call an emergency for a car repairman. Knowing that they are alone, the professor invites them in. The professor then asks them if they are tourists, one of them says that they are from New York and have come to visit Germany for a vacation. They then ask the professor to call the emergency car service but the professor does not pay attention and ignores them. He asks them if they are relatives, Lindsay replies, we are not relatives, but we are friends. The professor gets up and goes to the kitchen to get some water. Then he mixes a drug in the water and makes a fake call so that Jenny and Lindsay think he is calling the repairman. Jenny drinks the water and Lindsay spills her drink on the table. Because of that, Lindsay didn't drink much water unlike Jenny. Seeing this, the professor gets angry and raises his voice. Then he goes to the basement and Jenny and Lindsay think he is going to get something to clean the table, but in the basement, the professor is filling a syringe. On the other hand, Jenny was in a faint condition because of the drug. Lindsay still doesn't get affected by the drug, and she tells the professor to call again, but he refuses. She tries to wake Jenny but the drug starts to affect Lindsay. Then the professor injects the drug into the neck of Lindsay and she faints immediately. The next day, the professor is having breakfast while Jenny and Lindsay find themselves in the professor's lab. They realize that they are tied to the bed. In addition to these two, there is a man who is also incarcerated, and he is the truck driver. The professor enters the lab and notifies the man that it is time for someone like him to die. Then he infuses a toxin into his arteries and dies immediately. He then buried the body of the driver in his garden. The professor uses his anesthesia dose to deliver a man unconscious. He's from Japan, and he's sharing a bed with Jenny and Lindsay. They all came to senses and started screaming because they didn't know what the professor would do to them. He comes forward and introduces himself as the Professor Joseph and he is a retired surgeon. He was a mad doctor. One of its weirdest professions was stitching living things. Not long ago, he did the surgery with three dogs behind each other and that mad doctor was going to perform the same operation on Jenny, Lindsay, and the Japanese man. Because their skin tissue matches, he was telling them about the operation details. He first pulls out their knee ligaments and finishes them completely so that they cannot stand. He will connect subject B to the backside of subject A and also subject C to the backside of subject B. He will take off the skin of their hip and put the skin of their jaw there. And connect the three as seen in the diagram. So, when subject A eats a food, its waste material will go into the mouth of subject B, and it also will go into the mouth of subject C. It is obvious that this process is quite disgusting and no normal person can do it. Because this doctor is crazy and he likes to do dirty experiments, it is his first experience with the human body. First, he injects a lethargic injection to the Japanese man that causes him to be unconscious. Jenny is screaming loudly and the professor tries to give the same injection to her as well. Meanwhile, Lindsay unties the rope with her teeth and runs away. 
She has drip needles in her hand which are pulling her skin and causing bleeding. She goes to a room and closes its door. But the professor arrives there and breaks the window of that room. Lindsay also runs away from there and falls into a pool. The professor also comes there and covers the pool with a lid. Then suddenly electricity gets off. It gets dark and Lindsay runs away. She goes to the professor's lab and unties her friend Jenny who is unconscious due to the substance injected to her. She drags Jenny from there and brings her outside, but the professor also comes there. He also injects Lindsay and becomes unconscious as well. He then picks both of them and brings them back to the lab. The professor is now starting the operation. First, he brings out the subject's ligaments and teeth. Then he uses the marker to mark their body. He removes their hip and face skins, and it is quite a long time to finish the operation. It is now a few days later, the professor is shown drinking. In front of him, is the very first successful human centipede operated together. Their wounds are not yet healed and the professor tries to force them to stand up together. The forefront is the Japanese man, the middle is Lindsay and at the most end is Jenny. Jenny is at the end and she is considered as the tail of the centipede. They are feeling pain but the professor forces them to stand and he takes a photograph. Then he showed them a mirror and they started constantly crying by looking at their condition. Professor Joseph keeps them in the cage like animals, he forces the Japanese man to eat like a dog. Then we see that the professor is treating them very badly and take them outside. The Japanese man needs to go to the toilet, but they know it's not possible because his human waste will go into the mouth of Lindsay. Lindsay had to swallow it, it was a dirty process in viewing even in thinking as well. Professor checks their medical condition, which shows that the Japanese man is fine but Lindsay has constipation because she is not digesting the human waste of this man. On the other hand, Jenny is not receiving any food or power source for her body. Because she did not eat anything and was getting weaker. Her wounds are still fresh and she seems to be dying soon and the doctor thinks about relocating Jenny. Meanwhile, we see two police officers knocking on the door. The police come there to find Jenny and Lindsay, because they disappeared for many days and their car was at a distance from the professor's house. Professor Joseph tells them he is a doctor and he is so busy that he has no time to go out. He tells the police officers he doesn't know anything about those girls. The professor offers them a drink and they request a coffee. He says no, and tells them that they will only get water. The professor goes to the kitchen and gets the water and mixes drugs in it. The officer tells him that someone heard the voice of the girls from his house. The police officers think that the professor is suspicious. They inform him they found his car from the truck, whose driver has been missing for many days. Hearing it, he shouts and asks them to drink water but the police officers throw the glass. Professor Joseph then makes an excuse for the towel but he actually goes to take the injection, from which he can make them faint. But this time he was exposed in front of the police officers. In his explanation, he says that they can't tease anyone without any reason. You can't arrest me without any warrant. The police officers then go away from the house. The doctor comes to his lab and he doesn't see his human centipede there, because they hide somewhere. They stab the doctor with a surgical knifey and he falls as a result of it. The Japanese men cut the neck of the doctor and then they tried to go upstairs, but they were weak and were operated on so they couldn't go upstairs. Their stitching area was bleeding, they still climbed up the stairs but the professor came behind them. He starts licking their blood from the stairs. The Japanese man breaks the mirror and Professor Joseph also arrives there. The Japanese man cut his neck with the glass and he died there. Meanwhile, the police officers came back to the house, but they didn't see anyone. They went to the professor's lab. The police officer feels intoxicated because of the drug that the doctor mixes in the water. The other officer searches and he finds the human centipede. But their condition is much worse. The officer goes to the doctor to hold him and he sees him sitting at a pool. His companion, a police officer, was also killed. Then Dr. Joseph shoots the other police officer with the pistol. The police officer also shoots the doctor and they both die and there wasn't anything left except for the centipede made by Dr. Joseph. It was a horrifying experiment of a mad doctor. The movie ends. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.